My name is Katie or KB Does Art and today we're going to be making um, kind of like a paper to go box type thing. Um, so I'm going to start out with a cube. So go ahead and grab that and then um, let's click on polycube one. I'm going to change the dimensions a little bit. I'm going to make the width maybe like two. Yeah, that looks good. And then I want the height to be a little bit less, maybe like 0.8. That looks good. All right, let's put some subdivisions in. Uh, let's just start with maybe like six by maybe four, not 44, <laughs> four. And then maybe do four on the depth as well. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is probably just hollow, um, this guy out. Um, so let's go ahead and let's do this the easy way. Let's just select the top faces and then delete the top faces, go into object mode and then extrude control E and then adjust thickness maybe to like the paper's pretty thin, so maybe like 0.05 is good. Yeah, 0.05 is perfect. All right, uh, next thing we're gonna do is um, select all those inside edges, all those guys. I'm just holding shift and double clicking each edge. Select all these faces, hold shift and double click each edge. Do the same for this upper ring and that ring. Do the same for each side. Um, so really just like double clicking all of those 90 degree edges like that. Then um, I actually want to not include these. Inter actually no, include those guys. All right, and then whenever you're ready, do control B for beveling and then do two segments at a pretty small fraction because we do want them to be pretty rectangular. There we go. So now you can see it kind of just holds all of our edges into place when we turn on subdivision. Um, smoothing or surfacing. Okay, that's looking good. So next thing we're gonna need to do is add in all those fun little uh, corners. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that by just selecting this outer edge, select one and then select another and double click. Should select the whole ring. Go ahead and click, um, oh. You can take away these little guys in there. So just remove those guys since we don't need them. So take away both of those guys on all four corners. And then whenever you're ready, um, go ahead and do Command E for extruding. And then you're just gonna up that thickness um, to maybe like point, I don't know, 0.6 might be good. Maybe even like 0.55. 0.5 might be good. All right, I think I think that's good. All right, so now we're just going to be doing some detailing. Let's select um, these faces and these faces. Select these faces like that. Click R and just uh, scale them in. And then click W. We're going to do each of these pairs separately. So select this pair. Select this pair. Click W and move it out again so it's not pressed in to the box like that. And then you can move it down a little too. And then do the same thing to, uh, to this pair. Just move it back out like that. And then you can push it down a bit so it matches up with that guy. All right, and then um, let's see. If you want to, you can take this vertex and just kind of drag it out a bit more if you want that corner to be um, a bit further. You don't have to, but you can if you want. Um, all right, and then um, let's see if we press three corners kind of round out a bit. That's okay. I do want to take this edge 
on each side and control B and bevel it, do two segments at a pretty small fraction. That should be good. Just so you get like a hard clean outline on that outside. Um, and then you can honestly just do that exact same thing for all of these outer edges. Just selecting those guys. All right, last little guy. Um, I'm thinking we might go through and select that like inner ring maybe. Let's just bevel those guys and you can do two segments and all right um if you want to you can add in some more details on just grabbing like some of these vertices and kind of like pulling them out a bit just make sure maybe you're like symmetric <laughs> you want to have symmetry throughout your model so if you do decide to do that Feel free. Um, and then just make sure you are doing the same thing on both sides. All right. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking that's um, all we really need. I'm, I kind of feel like it's a little too tall, so you can just click R and just scale it down kind of like that. Going for more of a donut box type. Um, all right, there we go. I'm feeling like that's pretty good. So um, yeah, eventually um, my hope is to model a donut and then we can add in a donut to our donut box, but um, until then it is just a plain book. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you need any help on anything, uh, feel free to comment below. And um, as always, I will see you guys hopefully next week for another fun tutorial. Bye guys!